Welcome and thank you for signing up to iotticket.com. Connecting vehicles, machines and other equipment to the internet creates unique opportunities for companies to leverage their service strategy. Installed-based management, condition-based monitoring or preventive maintenance are just some buzzwords that are possible with this Internet of Things platform. My name is Matthias Gredler, I am the product manager for IoT Ticket and I would like to give you a brief introduction to your ticket to the Internet of Things to get you started. On the right hand side, you can select your data acquisition method. Click on IoT apps to download software to your PC or mobile phone. Once installed, the application will transfer your data to our big data cluster. In case you want to try out our system, feel free to download, install and run the PC Performance Monitor app. In this Getting Started video, I will use this application to walk you through our features. Once an app is installed and running, the device is automatically added to your enterprise and all data points configured. If you want to turn your existing asset into a smart asset, click on IoT Ticket Hardware to get a list of supported embedded devices. These devices will make it easy for you to monitor and control your asset remotely. We also have a developer option that allows you to contribute your own content and develop your own applications. Click on Developer to learn more. Once you selected your data acquisition method, it's time to look into the main menu. Click on the icon on the bottom of the page or press space on your keyboard to open it. Under General, you will find useful options like enabling full screen mode, changing desktop preferences or editing your user profile. In the Alarms and Events section, you will see active alarms and events and are able to acknowledge them. The favorites contain bookmarks that were set in the desktop browser and provide you quick access to frequently visited devices. In the desktop browser, you will see the enterprise that was automatically created when you signed up. Underneath, you will see all available sites and devices. Click on a device and you will see information about the device and also have several options to access it. The Show Desktop option allows you to view the dashboard for the selected device. As already previously mentioned, you also have the option to bookmark the desktop view by clicking on Add to Favorites. I will already add the device so I can find it later easily. You can start designing your desktop by clicking on Edit Desktop. Furthermore, it is possible to create reports and to execute analytic queries from here. Let's click on Edit Desktop to create content. You can select from a list of available layout templates. In this example, I am going to use the automatic layout option. The desktop editor consists of a user interface designer and a data flow designer. In the user interface designer, you have a tool menu from where you can drag and drop elements such as charts, buttons, images and other elements onto your desktop page. Click on the data tag icon in the tool menu to browse the available data tags. In this application, I have, for example, a CPU total usage data tag. Now you can start dragging the data tag and drop zones will appear on the widgets. Dropping the tag onto the drop zone on the chart will automatically connect the measurement to the chart and you will see instantly values popping up. When you double click on the chart element, you will see properties for this element and you can make additional changes. Now we switch to the data flow editor. In the data flow editor, you can create advanced logic by dragging data tags, calculation blocks and other elements onto the canvas. From there on, you can connect the blocks to create advanced logic for user interface elements or, for example, create notifications that then trigger alarms and events. Once you are done, click Save on the bottom of the page and you will see your first published desktop. Reports and analytics are created similarly when designing your desktop content. In the bottom, you will see your desktop information and the page you are on. You can create additional pages for your desktop by clicking on the plus button. I hope you enjoyed watching this Getting Started video and I'm sure you're excited to unleash the potential of your devices. 
In case you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send us feedback using the feedback option on the right hand side of this page.